As Florida and the southeast prepare for a direct hit from Hurricane Irma, one of the big concerns is the storm surge that will battle batter coastal areas. Forecasters predict the storm surge could be catastrophic. In addition to the threat that poses to life and property, it also could leave lasting damage to the coastline. Dr. Hillary Stockton is a research oceanographer with the U.S. Geological Survey. She's looked closely at the impact tropical weather has had on beach erosion. She joins us from St. Petersburg, Florida. Good morning, Dr. Stockton. Good morning. What is your biggest concern today? Well, the biggest concern has been the shifting track. It really makes me worried for my neighbors and community here in Florida. And as an oceanographer studying beach erosion, it really makes me concerned about the beaches in our state as this large and powerful storm is going to deliver surge and waves over a potentially very large area. We want to take a look at, there's some pictures actually that uh, were taken of coastal areas before and after Hurricane Matthew last year. Give us some sense of what we're looking at. Well, as Hurricane Matthew started to move up the coast, it delivered really powerful waves and high surge that started to erode the beaches and move sand offshore. As the beaches eroded, in some places where dunes or buildings were built on, on the sand, uh, buildings and roads were undermined and sometimes collapse. As the waves and surge get even higher, they can inundate a barrier island and actually cut a breach across the island, severing the uh, communities from uh, other parts of the island. There's been a construction boom and, and a population boom in South Florida in, in, in recent years. How, how does that affect beach erosion? Well, it affects beach erosion because in essence it, it locks that beach in place. when. Barrier islands and sandy beaches want to move and change with waves and currents. And that's how they adapt to changing uh, climates and different sea levels. But when we build on those islands, roads and, and um, communities, it sort of locks that island or beach in place and it's not allowed to move naturally. For people that look at it and say, well, this is just about a beach that you'd be sitting on. It's, it's just a beautiful beach. It's much more than that. Why is it so important um, to worry and to be concerned with some of the erosion that can take place on these beaches? Yes, beaches really provide the uh, first line of defense during big storms. The beaches and sand dunes serve to dissipate or reduce the energy of waves as they travel um, up to our communities and they protect inland areas. Dr. Hillary Stockton in St. Petersburg, Florida, stay safe, you and your family there in that coastal community. Thank you. Thank you.